from our perspective at APS, we will question an organization that's approaching us for coaching for a performance issue. Certainly finding out things like, is the person aware of this? Where's their line manager in this process? You know, what's gone on to lead up to this? Because otherwise, coaching can take on a quite a negative perspective. Um, and sometimes it actually the person or the coachee may have acknowledged that. And then this is, you know, the coaching can be positioned more positively of, listen, this is one of the ways in which we want to support you. What is it that makes for a great coach then? Because I guess just managing that first potential objection somebody might have and even the fear of what do people think of me then if they're nominating me for coaching is a hurdle to overcome by coaches right so yeah gosh and it's a it's a pretty big question and I kind of I think it makes me reflect on my own training as a coach and I guess there's a few key things one is the ability to really listen how am I actually truly paying attention to what's going on not trying to scribble a bunch of notes, but really listen and question effectively. And I think as a coach, it's that understanding the role that you play. So how do you hold the space? You're not a counselor. You're not there as a friend. You're, you know, you're not their boss. You, what role do you play? And therefore, how is that position with the person? And, and where is their, not so much permission, but where is the challenge? I'm, I'm a personally big one for kind of support challenge as a continuum. How do you support someone? How do you help them think about the positives they bring? But where are you there to absolutely challenge why they might be doing something, the impact of doing it, what's stopping them and getting in the way, and really helping them think deeply about them and their performance and how they add impact. But I think the thing that's always important to us is who is the right coach um, and how does the coach show up? So I think the thing that's important, and, and this leads on to, you know, how do you put coaches in front of a potential coachee within an organization? It, it really relates to what's, you know, what's the situation, what type of coach, what's the right match for that? And, and certainly that, you know, if you're a coach, I guess you coach anyone. And of course, you know, our belief and, and certainly my knowledge is to say, no, that's not true. Um, if you've got someone who's absolutely driven, et cetera, well, if I'm very altruistic as a coach, I may not be the most appropriate coach for you. I may not challenge you in the right ways. I may be asking questions which are less relevant to you. How do you know you're doing a good job as a coach? Um, I guess there's probably a couple things. One is there needs to be feedback loops in there. Um, and that's not just through, you know, the coachee going, I love my coach, they're great. Um, the coachee is really important. But it is those things of going back to the same measures that the, the coachee is aiming for, how successfully are, are we achieving those? Now, that doesn't mean we need to achieve everything, et cetera. And sometimes, you know, for the best will in the world, we've, mo we've moved, but, you know, there's other things that have got in the way. But I think it's that, can we consistently point towards people who are moving the needle? We're getting feedback from the organization. We're getting feedback from the individual. So it's, again, it's evidence-based. How, how do we collate what that picture is? Some of it will be anecdotal. But there will be evidence to say, listen, we ran a 360 and we are seeing behavior change. Now, the individual's driving it, but if the coach is there supporting in the right way, then that's going to, you know, more often than not be supportive of that process.